Question number 9. Figure 6 shows array of right incident on a prism with a critical angle of 42 degrees. Uh, so we have the incident ray. This is a prism. Uh, so this angle is 30, meaning this angle is 60. Uh, so the prism, the ray, uh, we say that the critical angle is where the, the refracted ray uh, will be at 90 degrees uh, from the normal so that means that uh, our our critical angle will be at, 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 on the normal so we will not so that means that uh, we will not be able to show the refracted ray uh, so we are told uh, uh, complete the diagram to show the path of the ray through the prism so to be able to do that uh, it means that since we have the critical angle, the ray will continue uh, straight to the other side of the prism. Uh, so once it is, it gets here, it will be refracted. And uh, so here we need to draw the normal. Uh, we draw the normal here. So that is the normal. And this ray will be refracted uh, like that. So this is, uh, that ray will be reflected, refracted, not reflected, uh, like that. So we have, uh, we have the refracted uh, ray on the other side of the prism. This angle is the same as this one, so it is 30 degrees. And if you uh, complete the diagram like that, you should be able to get two marks. So before we I wind up, uh, it is important to note that the normal ray uh, is a ray that incident at 90 to a surface. So this incident ray, we can also refer to it as a normal ray in this situation. 